Chesterfield FC have taken the National League by storm this season. 34 games in, and the Spire Rights are 20 points clear at the top of the table, with promotion to League 2 looming. Chesterfield made the National League playoff final last season, but lost out cruelly on penalties to a fantastic Notts County side. So, it was always expected that they'd be in this season's title race, but the way that they've gone about it is incredible. The club behind Chesterfield in second place is my team, Barnet. We also made the playoff last season, and this time round want to go all the way. Now tonight, both of these teams are going to be taking on each other here at the Hive, under the lights. It's first versus second, Chesterfield versus Barnet. This game is going to be a cracker. Let's get inside. Chesterfield's form of late hasn't been great, they've conceded a lot of goals and I'm sure their players are already mentally on the beach. So I do think that this is the perfect time to play the team. I have a feeling that we can nick a result and I wouldn't be surprised if we score early, defend well for the rest of the game. Maybe a 2-1, 3-2 win, something like that. There's going to be goals in this game, but there is the potential of Barnet nicking a win. Of course, it would only close the point gap to 17 points, but still a win to win and I would love that. Before the game, I spoke to Tom and Tom, two Chesterfield fans. Well, now I'm joined by two massive Chesterfield fans. We've got Tom, another Tom, and of course, Tom myself. Now, I know, first of all, that you both run a, is it a blog or a podcast? Do you want to tell everyone at home watching what you do? Uh, yeah, sure. So it's a podcast called Spy Rights Right. Um, if no one's ever heard of it, it's on Twitter. It's on all social media, Spotify. So uh, go and check us out. Now, take me back to that playoff final last season. We were <sighs> at Wembley, and I was the cruelest way to lose a absolutely I was gonna say yeah it's you, you, making me relive some horrible memories here but uh, yeah it was a crazy day out wasn't it 13,000 I think we took down there it was a great atmosphere until the penalty shootout yeah, yeah. you know we were, we were winning all the way till the penalty shootout yeah. you know yeah. there weren't at any point knots were winning until that final penalty went in so it was you know devastating knowing that you've got to spend another year annoyingly back down in the National League and not in the Football League. In those weeks following that, I, I'm sure you must have been really disappointed, but coming into this season, I'm sure you were expecting to challenge for the title, but the way that you've gone about it, it's been incredible. You know, win after win after win. What's this season been like following the team? It's, it's been a season in a million, I think. I don't think any of us expected this level of dominance. Um, obviously, we were hoping we would win the title or at least, like you say, compete for the title, but I don't think anyone ever expects their team to be 20 points clear, do they? And, you know, away games like tonight, big ones against Barnet, but 17 points clear. I imagine that mentally your team are already on the beach. So how hard has it been to keep up these results? How well have your team done? Uh, we've done incredibly well. If we win tonight, it equals a club record for most away wins in a season. Right. So you've got that motivation. And it's just getting over the line. You know, we just want to get go up as champions. And then you can start looking at like maybe points records and stuff like that. You know, the most points Chesterfield's ever had in a season is 92. So it'll be good to try and just beat that and just beat as many club records as we can possibly beat this season. I mean, I'm sure you're on, on track to beat that. When you are to go, I won't say if, but when, <laughs> are you hoping to do what, you know, Notts County, what Wrexham have done and automatically start again pushing for Russia and pushing for the playoff places? Or is it going to take a while to adjust? I, I think a bit of both, to be fair. I mean, obviously, you've seen Notts County have had some teething problems in the Football League. And I think you, you sort of realise what your weaknesses are in your team when you go up that division. Um, some players make the step up, some don't, and obviously it takes a bit of time to adjust. But, I mean, we've, we've been in League 2 with Paul Cook before and it, it went pretty well. We won the title under him. So he's been there, done that before. If, if you give him the back in, he, he will get results. To be back up in the Football League, I know that's most teams in the National League's dreams to be in the Football League. How special is that going to be to return, to do those big away days? What's that going to be like? Oh, it's, it's going to be really good. I think when we all dropped down to this level, you know, we all thought, oh, we'll only be here for a season and then we'll, and then we'll go back up. <laughs> and it's not turned out that way. And I think we've all learned a respect, haven't we, now for the National League? 100%. It's an incredible yeah, difficult league to get out of. And we're all just, you know... It's, it's been good and we've actually enjoyed it. You know, we've gone to some places that we not we thought we'd never go to and it's just been a good good six seasons in it now and hopefully this one's the last. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> the, the effects of this title race or of being so high up in the league, what have that been? Have you seen an increase in attendances? Have you seen a lot more positivity around the club? 
Definitely. I mean, we, we had a few year period where it was really, really negative, especially when the, the old ownership was still here. But uh, since the Community Trust came in, and obviously now we have the Kirk brothers as well, who are uh, rich local fans who are invested, um, it, it, we've kind of just gone from strength to strength. We, I never thought we'd see Paul Cook back at the club as manager. That, that's possibly the biggest thing that we've done since, since they've come in. Um, and the, the effect is had. I mean, it's quite evident, isn't it? The football's amazing. We've got some players who would never have dropped down to the National League otherwise. And yeah, it's just a fantastic feeling around the club. And finally tonight, it's Barnet. I know we haven't been in the greatest form of late, but still a decent side. What's your score prediction, so if you want to get some line up? I think it's going to be a close game. Um, and obviously, it's two teams that like to score goals. So you've got Callum Stead up front, and you, who's done all right. So I reckon... 3-2 to Chesterfield. Oh, I was going to say 3-2. Oh, I've nicked oh, it. Yeah. I've nicked it. <laughs> I think it'll be goals. We can't defend for his lives at the moment. Well, we, you know, conceded four against Bromley, two against... Well, what is it? It's eight, eight goals conceded yeah. in three games right. now. So it's there's going to be goals. It's not going to be a nil-nil. Don't worry about that. <laughs> well, hopefully it should be an exciting game. Thank you for your time and, and good luck for the rest of the season. Although, I'm sure you won't need it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You Thank too. You. <laughs>
and Chesterfield were hungry for more too. Cropper found himself in some space here, so I went for the shot, but this time it was well over the bar. Moving into the second half and Barnett was still searching for an equaliser, Pritchard with his effort going over the bar. Another moment of chaos from Barnett though saw Chesterfield score their second. A great run from Naylor down the left, who put the ball past the goalkeeper and it looks like it was tapped home by Grimes, 2-0 to the league leaders. Moments later and it could have been three, Will Brigg played through on goal but Keeley was there to save his shot. And that was full time, a 2-0 win for Chesterfield over Barnet to take them 23 points clear at the top of the National League. Well, full time here at the Hive, 2-0 to Chesterfield with Jacobs and Naylor scoring. And I think that game really does sum up the difference between Chesterfield and the rest of the teams in the league. It was a fantastic display from Barnet. As you can hear now, all the fans applauding the players because they really did put in a valiant effort. However, Chesterfield, they had two chances and they scored two goals. And that really is the difference. They've got that quality. They've got that edge over the rest of the teams in the division. And that is why they are now 23 points clear at the top of the table. As for Barnet, we go down to third place in the league with Bromley moving back up into second because of the minus two goal difference. Uh, so we've gone down and we've gone down below them because of the goal difference. However, still a really positive performance from us and I'm hoping for that trip to Wembley come the end of the season in the playoff final, fingers crossed. Of course, good luck to Chesterfield for the rest of the season too, although I'm sure they won't need it. And a big thank you goes to Spyrite Wright. Um, of course, Tom and Tom, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to me. And of course, good luck to you guys and your channel too. If you did enjoy watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.